So, it's one of those videos where I get to talk about something cool that someone in the community has made. This is a one-time password input component. It's simple. It does one thing, but it does that thing really well. And that shows this has been out for two or three days and people really like it. And man, this is just really fun to use. And there's two main cases where you need this. First off is two-factor authentication on mobile if you do that in your app. And the second one, which I think is much more important, is in your authentication flow. So imagine this, the user creates an account and you want to verify their email. Please don't use a link to do that. There's a lot of reasons why links fail. And this guy right here summarized really well why not to use links in your emails. They may fail to actually reach the target through spam filters. They may be intercepted and analyzed, which could breach your security and some other stuff. And also they are sometimes pre-clicked by the email program that the user uses. Instead, we can use one-time password codes, what this component is so good at. And for example, when the user creates their account, we set a verified property to false in our database that matches that user's email. Now, right after that account was created, we're gonna send out an email to that user containing a one-time password code. And only if they enter exactly that OTP, that one-time password in our application, for example, in this component, then we're gonna set the verified property to true that matches their their email address in the database and only then do we allow them the access to our app. If you're wondering how that looks in practice, literally this will already do the job. We create six random digits put them in the email and also save them in our database so we can then match them to whatever the user inputs right here in our website. And honestly, there's good reason for people liking this so much. The downloads have shot up like crazy. This is only out for a couple of days and already it has like almost 1k stars on GitHub, which is pretty nuts. And I think the main reason for that is right here and how you use it in your code. For example, we can make this controlled, which just means we keep track of the value that the user is currently entering, the numbers inside of of state. That's all that means. And check this out. We can define a max length. If you want longer codes, that's totally possible. The most important thing is not the class name. We can easily set that to override any styles that we want. But the most important thing is this right here. It's the render prop. What this render prop does is it allows us to easily customize how we render out the design, the layout of the one-time password component. And the cool thing is this library doesn't care how you render out anything. It's totally unopinionated. It provides you everything you need, the slots and also two other props, the is hovered or is focused, which you can use for additional styling. But you can go for the goofiest layouts if you want, or you can just fill in the HTML or JSX shell in this case like this, where we render out three slots before the dash, then the dash, and then the other three. So all together we have six and it's gonna look exactly like this. And one of the coolest things once we are done typing all this in an action will automatically be triggered and that is done through the on complete right here so not only do we have this as a controlled input with value and on change but as soon as the last digit whatever that is for you four six ten however many digits you want is done we can trigger any kind of function we want automatically most of the time that will be a call to your server or i'm just logging out the values right here and honestly that just makes for a really nice user experience with very little abstraction and very very much control over how you want to render everything out yourself, how it fits your app. So quick one today, that's all there is to say about a one-time input component. I hope you enjoy it. Maybe you'll even use it in your next app if you like it. That's gonna be it for me for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.